Today I'm going to show you how to do a 100% pure tongue oil finish the right way. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to dilute the first coat. To make sure this tongue oil doesn't go bad, just squeeze the air bubbles out. Like this guy right here, we don't want him in there. So I'm going to let him come out. Boop, there he is. And bam. We're going to dilute it. You can use mineral spirits. I'm using turpentine because I'm hardcore like that, I guess. Or right now, anyway, that's what I have. And you dilute it one to one. And you can eyeball it. It's okay. You can eyeball it. Boom. That's about it. I can tell you right now, just for what I'm using this for right now, tonight, that's way too much. Stir it up so it's not milky. It'll mix together pretty good. And now it's just a thin tongue oil. Now I know a lot of people want to use pure tongue oil. First coat really needs to be thinned. If you don't want to use turpentine or mineral spirits and you're really trying to be as green as possible, you should use something like pure orange oil or something like that. I'll put links in the bottom. Anyway, and now you're just gonna need a rag and paper towels. For my first coat, you just put it on there heavy and rub it into the surface. It soaks right into the wood like everyone talks about, yeah. Of course, wood's all dried out. And so you just work this into the wood and I'm gonna do it into the whole piece real quick. Thinning out the first coat will make sure you get deeper into the wood than if you don't. I've done both, but I just want the added protection of thinning it out first. And I end up doing three whole coats. This is a really dense wood, this is purple heart wood. This guy is super dense. And if you started the first coat without thinning it, good luck getting in this grain because this guy, I guess you could treat it as a one and done with <laughs> out diluting it, but it wouldn't get very deep into the wood. Parts of the grain are soaking up the tongue oil faster than other parts. So what you want to do is you want to come back around. Just rub a little bit more on. and then give it a minute, basically, while you're working on this, to soak in. So I'm gonna leave that one alone. I work on this other guy. And that'll give me just enough time to let it all soak in in there. And we can get this guy done. And now I'm gonna let this guy sit here for a little bit. I have them both covered really well. So I'll soak them up a little while. And I'm taking it all in. There's some real nice figure that's popping right now. I have to show it to you. We're done with this. I'm going to cap this off. Now this I'm not planning on keeping long term. This jar. So I'm not going to disperse the air. You know, the marbles or anything like that. Now I'm just wiping off all the excess oil. Look, gone. So like, it's all oily. I'm wiping it off completely. You can see some of the some of the figure right here. How it's figured. Curly. I wasn't trying to get curly purple heart, but a lot of it comes that way. Huge, monstrous trees. I'm just going to wipe down the face of it and the side of it one last time real quick before I leave it alone. Okay, now I'm going to leave it alone for an hour and then we'll come back. Okay, it is an hour later and now I'm going to add more tongue oil to the diluted tongue oil. 
without making too big of a mess. I'm gonna close it up the same way as before. So it's still diluted, but it's gonna be thicker now. It is the next day and you can see some places this is the only spot I really found where it's kind of it looks wet like it pushed the oil out what will happen is it'll sweat some of the oil out so what you're gonna do is just wipe it off with a paper towel I'm gonna have to do this you're set now you just gotta let it cure That's it, that's all there is to it. This is what they look like after a week of curing. They're dry now. There's isn't any wet spots. It's not sweating tongue oil anymore. And they are ready for art. And that's the way I do a pure tongue oil finish.